Hi, I am SolarLoom, and this is part 5 of my tutorial series on how to use Sunbox. Um, this one will be talking about how to use the new drum synth, which is a new uh, module available in Sunbox version 1.6.4, as well as how to use more than one pattern in a song. So firstly, we have a generator and a drum synth, and the generator is a basic triangle synth, it's not doing anything particularly special, release is a, is a little high, sustains off and um, it's playing a simple pattern here, so let's hear it. Okay, so what we're going to do is add a beat to that, and we're going to use the new drum synth for, for this purpose. Um, now, the thing uh, about this is that there's two different ways to make uh, multiple modules, multiple instruments, play at the same time. One way is to place them in the same pattern, which is, uh, this pattern currently has four channels and you can put something in other channels in the channel one, two, or three or you can make a new pattern and have it play next to or on top of or with uh, the other patterns that are there um, most trackers only support one single pattern at a time, one pattern playing at a time so it makes it a, a little difficult if you want to have chords and a beat and, I mean, you know, different things because you can only have maybe, maybe a maximum of 16 channels playing at the same time. Sunbox can have, I believe, eight or six, eight channels per pattern, but multiple patterns. Uh, who knows, maybe hundreds of patterns at the same time, if your computer can handle it. So, what we're going to do is make a new pattern that will play next to this synth pattern. So we're going to right click and select new pattern. And so there's our new pattern right there. Um, now if you notice, left clicking on the pattern makes it active. And when it's active, the notes for that pattern up here, here in the note editor, in the pattern editor. So here is our synth um, line, and it's in the synth pattern. Synth pattern, and then here is our uh, what will be our drum uh, pattern, and that will contain our drum loop lines. So it's pretty simple to make a new pattern and to put notes in. You just go ahead and edit it as normal. Now the drum synth is a little different because a drum synth uh, basically has different notes. Uh, for each sound. So each note plays a different sound and each octave sounds different from every other octave. So yeah, there's a large number of drums that you can get out of a single drum synth uh, module. And so from C to D sharp are bass drums, from E to F sharp are hi-hats, and from G to B are snares. Again, each octave sounds different from each other one uh, and so the variety you can get is pretty uh, amazing. Okay, so what we're going to do is just play down a simple beat. So you press space to go into edit mode. My edit mode is set to four. And then you just click it out to place notes. So let's actually hear the note before we place anything. So we're looking for a bass drum. I like that. But let's try this right here. So we'll walk it out. Wait. Yes, that's intentional. Let's hear it. Both patterns are on the same line, so they start at the same time, and they're the same width, so they end at the same time. Playing it will play uh, both patterns at the same time. Let's hear it. Next, let's get a snare up and running. So let's get a, let's see, so. I'm not a fan of the tone of these snares, they're kind of high. Let's change that tone. The uh, drum synth has different parameters here we can change, the bass drum power, the tone, the length, the volume hi-hat volume and length, and the snare volume, tone, and length. So let's try changing the tone of the snare. And the length. Let's go with a little shorter length. Yeah. Okay, so let's, just like the other time, walk it out. Uh, eight. Let's edit step set to eight, and then just click it out, and let's hear it. 
below, so... Okay, and finally, let's get a hi-hat up and running. So, let's find a hi-hat here that we like. That's good. Set the step back and actually let's make it that one. Alright, let's hear it. Okay, so that was tutorial 5 of Sunbox on how to use the drum synth as well as make multiple patterns and play them at the same time. Um, yeah, that was that tutorial, so I, I'm so Loon. Hopefully uh, you'll watch me again. Thank you for watching me this time, and have fun with Sunbox.